It's Wednesday, August 13th, and Deborah Leanne in here to share with you some of Wednesday's wisdom. And let me make this perfectly clear. I am not the one that's the um, knows all of and is the guru. I am going through my emotions and my ups and downs this week, as I believe many of us are. And I just want to share my view of it. And if it's helpful to you, that would be great. And if it's not, then don't take it on. You don't have to accept my views of the world. I hope it is helpful, though. Uh, this week, many of us have been mourning and feeling waves of grief, anger, sadness, um, a lot of deep emotions around a lot of things that have happened this week. In the big national news, international news, um, Robin Williams committed suicide. And the actual gift in this is that it might bring up a more uh, a, a needed conversation around mental illness and what depression is and how it really does need to be addressed just as much as cancer, just as much as um, visible things like broken bones. I think that many of us have known someone who has gone through depression and if we have, we know how deeply, um, how deeply these people, and I have been there too, can fall, and that there is not a lot of options that look, uh, when you look around to see, is, is it worth living anymore? I understand that that's hard for a lot of people to understand, but um, and religious beliefs have all kinds of stuff around that. However. The conversation needs to be had, and I'm glad that we're finally making it mainstream. Thank you, Robin Williams. The other thing is local, but it's also hitting international news. St. Louis is being ripped apart, not for the first time, with um, a lot of anger on many sides, um, socioeconomic, um, white, black, um, and all of the other races are, as well are watching. And But I also believe a huge factor is a generational difference. And what I'd like to point out here is that I, what keeps me grounded in this whole situation is knowing that this is not maybe the best way for our young people to address their anger, address their um, unhappiness, address their... Um, wanting to be heard by us, their elders. And it's also a chance for us, the elders, to look at what kind of modeling have we done for appropriate anger? Where have we stood up and shown the peaceful warrior way? No, we continue to go to war. We continue to create more war um, um, weapons that then we sell to the countries that are using them to kill their own people and to kill us if we go in to try to, to help. And, and we, we have not done a very good job of showing when we are unhappy, when we see a wrong and we want to make it right, how to do that. Martin Luther King had tried to show us, Gandhi as well, through their ways of Nonviolent conflict resolution. Have we taught our children that? Have they seen the road rage when we get angry when somebody pulls in front of us? Have they heard us screaming and yelling at someone when we're unhappy? Have they continued to watch the movies, the sports, the... I mean, why is it that when hockey players get into a fight, everybody stops and watch. I mean, it's crazy. Why do we watch that? Our kids are growing up thinking that's what you do. When you're unhappy, you throw your mitts off and you go and you fight somebody. 
And this is, so we can't really blame them for trying to create the change that they want to see in the world. What we need to do is look at when we're pointing fingers, whether it's at the police or the young people or whatever the situation may be, we need to look at how many fingers are pointing back at us. And I constantly have to look at myself in terms of what have I done to, to model appropriate anger, appropriate assertiveness, not just sitting there closing, turning off the TV and pretending like nothing exists. No, I'm talking about really being angry and wanting to make change. How am I teaching our children that? So that's my bit for you to chew on and digest this week. And I hope that next week we can get back to some other grounding techniques um, to help us stay focused and to step into a higher leadership role. Until then, have a great week and peace.